In this particular video, I'm going to show you how we acquired the data used in exercise four. It's from a particular site called Glovis, G-L-O-V-I-S. And if you notice here, I'm logged in. Uh, so to use this in terms of downloading uh, imagery, you would have to be logged in. And so if you go to the full screen mode, you get something like this. And here, what's nice about it is you kind of can zoom in. And as you zoom in, uh, the data then becomes available. So it's based on kind of where you are, which is nice. So what I did here is I just simply zoomed in uh, to Indianapolis. Well, we're roughly right around there, so I'll keep on zooming. Eventually, I'm going to go over here and choose different data sets. In this case, I'm going to use Landsat 8. And you'll see 315 scenes match the criteria. One of those 315 scenes, I'm looking for one which it's minimal cloud cover. So let's say 0 to 10. And in terms of greenery, which is what I'm focusing on on this particular exercise for, we're going to look at months of the year in which it's green. So we'll go June, July, August, and we'll go do apply. So now it shows 12 scenes that match my criteria with hardly any cloud cover and imagery, Landsat 8, 8 imagery, uh, that was taken sometime in the months of June, July, and August. So I can go over here and kind of zoom out just a little bit because I'm wanting Marion County-ish. So I'm wanting this kind of rough area and, you know, a little bit, you know, as far as helping to know geography and so knowing uh, kind of this particular river formation is, uh, is, is key characteristic of the White River. IEPY's campus is right here, kind of jut out. Uh, we have the Eagle Creek Reservoir. Uh, up there. So you kind of have your place markers if you know uh, the physical geography of Marion County in Indianapolis. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll just go through, click the next button until we get the imagery kind of the, the, something that looks like it's very, very clear. Uh, so I'm going to go through and kind of, you know, as we go, some days uh, better than others, obviously, here. Get to find that perfect day. So coming through. So, oh, got a little too many clouds. I mean, it's pretty good. And here, let's do, yeah, that one looks really good here. If you look at this one in particular here, I don't see really a cloud at all. Found one that we like, one in which it's very cloud-free. Uh, so that's going to help because we're trying to find uh, essentially the greenness of the surface, uh, how much vegetation there is at the surface. So we found the one we like. Then we, simply what we do is we just go to download. In this case, you're going to choose the bottom one, the GeoTIFF, the download. And once again, for exercise four, I've already done this for you. But what I'm just merely doing now is showing you how to do this. Uh, so you'd click download, and then you would save that in your exercise four folder. So here we are in our exercise four folder. Uh, so we have the two different folders, the zip folders that we should have uh, downloaded from uh, Canvas, and so the first one is the Indie Neighborhoods, so you can go ahead and right-click, Extract All, and that should take less than 10 seconds. Now the other one, though, it's a big file. So the image, or the images, I should say, are included here in this GZ file. So what we're going to do is we're going to right-click, choose the 7-zip option, and then choose extract here. And so essentially what we have is a double zipped folder. So this one's gonna be unzipping twice. So we're doing the first unzipping. And so when you unzip it, you're gonna find out that this is a big file. But if you have the computer ability and if you have access to IU anywhere, hopefully it won't take more than, let's say two minutes to unzip this particular file. That took two minutes and 45 seconds for me that to unzip and now we have a new uh, particular folder that we have to unzip and that's this tar file so we'll right click on that and then once again 7-zip extract here and that took about a minute and we now have these individual tiffs that are the different bands uh, we also have some metadata included so the metadata is going to tell us uh, things like the date that the a particular image was taken uh, how much cloud cover there was, the extent of the particular image, the Latin long of the corners and all of that. So it adds more information there in the metadata as a text file. Uh, so this is something you, you know, need to be careful here, but uh, it would be helpful to go ahead and delete some things. Uh, so go ahead and delete, for example, the Indie Neighborhoods zipped folder, not the unzipped one, the zipped one. 
the tar file, the T-A-R file, and the G-Z file. Now, I just want to make sure you don't want to delete anything else, but those are just the big zipped files that you know, we don't want in our folders bogging down things, but also I'm sure UITs and the people who run IU Anywhere don't like having a bunch of students having all this data added to their uh, particular desktop. So we're now ready for ArcGIS Pro. So let's go ahead and close out this particular folder and go open up ArcGIS Pro. For this particular one, it's very important that before you get going that you go to settings because you need to add the spatial analyst extension. So if you don't do that, you're not going to be able to do this particular exercise. So we'll go to licensing. So what's it, once again, settings, licensing. It might take a few seconds here uh, for everything to come up. So then we'll go down to configure your licensing options. And yours should look something like this. You want to go down to spatial analysts and check the box, then click OK. So we've just added the spatial analyst extension. Now go back and we'll go ahead and do the traditional create a map by storing it in our current folder, in this case, exercise four. And we're going to call this particular map project exercise underscore four. 